Hi guys, so we are in my bedroom right now because we are going to film a picking random, my eyebrows are so crooked again, random albums off of my shelf and going through them because I realized that I have so many albums but I haven't gone through them like at all. Some of them I haven't gone through in forever. So, that's what we're gonna do. But I counted the amount of albums that I have on my shelf, and we are just going to randomly generate four numbers, and then we're going to look through those albums. Just because it's too hard for me to like pick an album to go through, so I thought I would just get the number generator to do that. So yes, I will generate the numbers right now. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay. I'm so nervous. So the first one, so we have 41. Okay. <laughs> I don't know which one that is. So we have album number 41, which is Saturday's Byung single. I'm so excited to go through this album. It's been so long. I haven't looked through it since I bought it, so I'm so excited. Yay! Okay, the next number is 44. <laughs> okay, we're sticking with the girl groups. Okay, so album number 41 is Cards Ride on the Wind. Again, I'm super excited because I have not gone through this album since I bought it. So. We have two of the four albums. Let's generate another number. 33. <laughs> I think it's still gonna be a girl group. <laughs> okay, so album 33 is <laughs> Red Velvet's Peekaboo album. So I'm very excited because Red Velvet is one of my top groups. And again, I haven't looked through this album since I got it, so I should look through it. And the last one is number 12. Okay, it's gonna be a GOT7 album. Okay, so album number 12 is GOT7's Eyes on You on version. I'm really excited. This is one of my newer GOT7 albums, even though it's an old album, it's a new one to me. So I'm super excited to look through it. It's not that I haven't looked through this in forever, it's just it's new, so I enjoy looking through it. So yes, we will, I'll set back up in my regular spot and we will go through these albums. Hey guys, so I'm back in my regular spot. So these are the four albums that were randomly picked to go through. We have a lot of girl groups or a lot of groups that stay in my girl groups section. Um, my random generator did not want to get out of the 30s and 40s. So yes, actually a lot of these albums are ones that I haven't gone through a ton. A couple of them are newer, like Saturdays and this Got 7 one are newer to me, so I have looked through them recently, but not a ton. I'm actually super excited to go through the Saturday album. I really, really like that album, so I'm so happy that was the one that picked it. I'm also really happy to be doing this video because otherwise I would never just pick random albums off of my shelf to go through. Usually I only take an album off of my shelf to look through it if like I really want to look through it, but sometimes like for some of these groups I might not feel like I want to look through their album. So I'm very excited about that. So we will start with the GOT7 album because it's the newest one. It's the one that I've gone through most recently. So this is the Eyes on You album on version. Again, with this album, um, they came with a random um, poster on the cover. So I pulled Jackson's. I guess we can leave the cover off now. <laughs> so yeah, this is what the actual album looks like though for people who might not have seen it. It's very simple, very pretty. And we can go through it. I'm so excited. <laughs> 
It's just been so long since I've taken the time to go through my albums. And the Eyes on You concept I really liked. And this photo book I took off getting for so long because it was yellow. Um, but I actually think it's my favorite photo book. I actually think it's my favorite photo book out of all of them. I really, really like this photo book. It's super colorful, super happy. Oh, Mark's blonde hair. I kind of miss Mark's blonde hair. Jackson. Jackson's new song also just came out and it's so, so good. I really like it. 100 Ways. Go watch Jackson's 100 Ways if you haven't seen it yet. And Jin Young's new drama is coming out in April. I'm so excited to see it. These pictures are like a matte finish. They're not a glossy finish, which is nice because you don't get fingerprints on the pictures, but it also looks pretty. Young Jay. Give Young Jay some sort of solo activities. His Got 7 offline episode, well, it was super cute seeing him hang out with Coco. It's like everyone else had something that they were filming that they could put in that episode but Young Jay, which is sad. Bam Bam. Bam Bam's been doing a lot of work in Thailand. Finally, him and Lisa can like endorse stuff together and we're getting a lot of just Bam Bam and Lisa content, which is so nice. I love when GOT7 can interact with other groups. Hello, Mrs. It makes me happy. yu gi -Oh. oh, I never noticed. I always thought yu gi -Oh's page was white, but it's like a light kind of mint green. That's pretty. Jin Young. Bam Bam. I like these pictures too. These are the pictures that are their purple photo cards. So I like them. Oopsie. Their purple photo cards do line up like to form a full picture if you put them in the right order. Same with their black photo cards. I just don't want to. <laughs> I'd rather have them in age order. This is the black concept. So JYP is one of those companies where they tend to put all of the concepts in the same photo book. So they'll release three different photo books with different, like of course they all have different. This is kind of like their thanks to that they did, but it was like a question to a, what was it called? A question to Agassiz? Let me flip back. On the scene with I Got 7. That's what it was. This is kind of like replacing their thanks to in this album. And then they actually got like a real thanks to. And of course Jackson's is super long in three different languages. I love this photo book. And then they all came with a random poster too. This is the lyric poster. So I got Jin Young's poster in this album. And it has all of the lyrics for the songs on the back. I just keep it in the back of the album. So yeah, that's the Eyes on You albums. Kind of miss this era. Back then when we got like actual information from JYP about what the comeback was going to be about. Those were the days. But yeah, that's the Eyes on You album. Which one should we go through next? The mo other most recent one that I've looked through, which would be Red Velvet's Peekaboo album. Again, this is an older album that I picked up kind of recently because I didn't have it. And Red Velvet is still having this jewel case packaging. I don't know how long SM's going to make them do this. But, like, Shiny still have jewel case packaging sometimes, so I guess that's a thing. And then the CD is really cool. It's like a pizza. 
<laughs> even though you and the jewel case they did make it look like a pizza box so I guess that's cool even if we have a jewel case and this is the photo book I just wish red velvet the SM ad we don't need that I just wish they would give red velvet like an actual <laughs> an actual like consistent album case album packaging that is not jewel casing because I don't like it but I do really like this photo book and like I really like the concept for peekaboo peekaboo is one of my favorite songs that they've ever released I really like it I love the styling, I love the photo book, I love the music video, I love the song, I listen to it all the time. Of course, Joy's iconic rainbow dress <laughs> happened in this era. So pretty. I just love this photo book and I wish it was like not in a jewel case <laughs> you know like I, I'm hoping from now on after the finale album the, their most recent album that we'll be able to get like not jewel case packaging from them because one it's just so inconvenient but two I just want them to have actual nice packaging for their albums instead of this jewel case nonsense so i will be a little bit upset if for the next red velvet comeback we get another jewel case <laughs> it's not going to be the greatest i'm not going to be happy about it it's also just really hard to put back in the sleeve Oh my goodness like this sleeve some of their sleeves for this style of packaging that they do is really loose and the stuff is like falling out if you hold it straight up but this one is super tight and it can sometimes be really hard to get back in but yeah that was red velvet's peekaboo album we will go through <laughs> cards ride on the wind album next this was the first card album that i got their most recent album is of course and it came with like a little pocket to hold all the random things which I really do appreciate when companies do that because all the stuff you don't want to put in your album you can put in there or in your if you don't have a binder you can store everything in there and it won't get lost Jiwoo I really like this photo book I think it's very summery and breezy is the word I would give for it <laughs> like I don't know it just looks very summery but I'm so happy we finally got another card physical release like it's been so long so I'm happy they did release something for Red Moon if that's not what their new album is called I'm gonna be a little upset but yeah this album had like a color well, it had like sort of three different aesthetics. They were like fire, earth, water, wind aesthetics sort of thing for Ride on the Wind. So they kind of did different things with the elements, which is of course very cool. And then you have a different photo shoot for each element, which is fun and interesting and I think unique. Like I know very many others who have done that. Or at least that's what I call it. I don't know if that was the intent, but that's what I took from it. So <laughs> if that wasn't what they were going for, then I'm sorry. That's just what I assumed it was. These are my favorite set of pictures, though. The ones with, like, the sort of red undertones to it. These ones. I really like these photos. <laughs> Here's the track list. Maybe that's not at all what they were going for, and I'm just like trying too hard the lyrics. 
We're gonna pretend I didn't say that. Pretend I didn't say anything about the elements. <laughs> um, and then the CD is in like this little package. So here's the CD that came with it. comes in a little pouch so it doesn't fall out which is if that wasn't focused I hope that was focused because if it wasn't that's annoying so that was Ride on the Wind that was Card's third mini album and the first one I bought and then the one like I am so excited to be going through this album I love Saturday and I'm so happy they finally got to release a physical album uh, after everything, they lost... How many members did they lose? Two members. They were accused of plagiarism. I'm just so happy. And Byung is such a good song. I listen to it constantly. So I hope their next release can be like a mini album. And this album is actually like super cool. I remember looking through it and I'm like, wow, I love it. So this is the front and the back spine. Well, this album isn't called Byung. It's called I Know You Know. <laughs> so you take off the slip. The slip is what has the little hearts on it. And then this is the album underneath the slip. Super pretty. I know. I just love the whole... Like, I remember when the teaser images were released for this. I thought, this is a photo book I want. Like, it's so neat like I don't know what it is neon I guess and then where they've stored this is the first page again I love it where they've stored the CD is so cool like this is how they've stored the CD so you open up this and the CD is sitting right here this is what the CD looks like I just think that's really unique I haven't seen that from any other um company or group at all so I like it it's unique it's cool I'm so excited to go through this album again it's been so long since I've looked through it Saturday Aeon funny enough they did two sets of photo cards for this album and I pulled both of Aeon's which is Nice. I'm happy I didn't pull duplicates. I just love the photo book. Like, something about the colors just speaks to me. Minso, it was just her birthday a couple of days ago. I don't know. Something about the aesthetic of this photo book is so, so, so pretty. Haniel, all the girls look really pretty. I just love this photo book. I'm so happy I get to look through it again. I'm so happy. Yuki. I'm just so glad this one got picked. Like, oh my goodness, yes, I'm so happy. <laughs> this photo book, again, I think it's just the colors. Juyan. It has to be just the colors of this photo book really speak to me. I love it. It reminds me of Daya's most recent physical release, sort of in the colors. It's just, I love it. <laughs> Everything about it, I love it. And the group pictures, so cute. If you haven't checked out Saturday, I recommend them. I think they're really, really great. Their most recent song, Beyond, if you're just looking for a good song to jam to, that would be it. I just love this photo book. Like, I don't even know what else to say. I just love this photo book. I was not expecting to get to look through this album anytime soon, but I am so happy that I am. And it's actually like a super thick photo book for a fairly unknown group. Well, I wouldn't say they're unknown, but like... And their makeup through this whole era is so pretty. It's like really pinky ready, which I love. I love it. Their thanks to Aeon. Minso, Hanyo, 
Yuki and Jiyoung. That is the whole album. I love it. I'm so happy I got to look through this album. Oh my gosh. I'm so happy. There we go. So let me grab all of the albums again. <laughs> so these are the albums that my number generator randomly decided I was going to look through to get today. I would love to do this video again because I have so many albums and I never go through a good majority of them. Like I buy them, I go through them a couple times when I first get it, then I put them on my shelf and never look through them again. So I really would love to do this video again and just randomly select however many four more albums to take off my shelves and look through because I love it. It let me look through these albums again and remember my frustration with a specific company's way of packaging albums. But yeah, that was the video for today. I hope you guys enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye!